Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls and this is our daily inspiration card reading. If you would like a personal reading with me, just go to my website angelsouls444.com and I do have another live session coming up. I have many of them. So check out the description box. The next one is on October 10th. Okay, so you know what to do. Archangel Uriel, trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. In order to act upon your inner knowledge and to trust that inner knowledge, it needs to not be affected by the ego. When we, I've done this so many times myself, <laughs> but when we get these messages in or we think we're hearing it or we see, you know, 1111 or we see 777, 333, 444, and we're like, oh, whatever I was just thinking of, that means it's perfect and I'm supposed to be going in that direction. Yes, the angels will give you numbers, number codes to get your attention, but it goes much deeper than that. And this is where people get a little hung up. I uh, can't, <laughs> can't tell you how often I laugh when I see people go, oh, I saw 1111 and I know that's special. I know it means something. Yeah, it means you're in for it, okay? No, <laughs> just kidding. But it means that you have some deep spiritual lessons to learn. So if let's say you're thinking about starting your own business and you keep seeing 1111, well, it means you're going to learn a lot through owning that own business, your own business and don't think it's going to be smooth sailing. It's going to be a, a school, a school of you understanding what, you know, what your hangups are. You know, are you a good manager or are you kind of mean to people? Do you boss people around? Do you like being the boss because you feel like you can own people? Disgusting. Okay. Or... Do you want to start your own business because you're afraid to be bossed around by someone else? You're afraid of the control. You know, this is the kind of thing that when you see 1111 could potentially mean for you that you're going to be learning a lot of lessons through that. Or it could be um, watch your thoughts. You know, that's a big one. Uh, when you see 777 around something that is usually saying, hey, you're heading in the right direction. Keep going with this. There are going to be bumps in the road. If you're in something where no matter what you do, it's not working out, that's a sign from the universe as well. Like, okay, this, this plan needs to be reworked a little bit. But that's what I mean when I'm saying, like we need to talk more about people and their spiritual practice. It has become trendy and people are treating it in a very shallow way. Or if they don't get their way or one thing happens to them and they're like, oh, I don't believe in anything anymore. Okay. Um, or do you just work? See, here's the thing. When someone can become so quickly disillusioned around their belief system, then that was not a firm belief system in the first place. It was not. Maybe they were seeking. Maybe they were, you know what I'm saying? Like um, if somebody wants to start studying Kabbalah, for example, and they go in there and they're like, oh, I got frustrated with it. And so I just gave it up. Well, that right there shows you they didn't really believe it in, in the first place. And their intentions for going into that were probably very self-centered. They just wanted to get something by doing this. And when they didn't get what they wanted, they're giving up. That's not what spirituality is. Spirituality is looking at the hard stuff and working through it. And through that, raising your frequency. When I see 1111 or 111, it's usually because I've been disconnected and it's trying to bring me back. Maybe I got too worried. I'm starting to go through my day and go, oh, I got so many things I have to do. I start putting pressure on myself or I start beating myself up because I took a nap instead of being more productive or whatever. And I'll see 111 or 1111. And that is my signal to rein it back in. Rein it back in. As a matter of fact, when you feel overwhelmed, when you feel like you have too many things on your plate, that is when you 100% should take 10 minutes, longer if you can. Make the time, take an hour to sit and meditate. Yeah. Let those things get further behind because it really doesn't matter all that much in the end, okay? What matters is your spiritual development, your true spiritual development, not just trying to look like you're spiritual, okay? We're gonna leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.